Peace of the Lord with everyone. You know, today we want to talk about Surah 20, verse 124. And this surah is talking about that's in judgment day and the person who don't accept Islam Allah will raise him up from the grave and he will be blind and then that person he will say to God you know hey Lord you know why you raise me up blind what I used to see before now this is very funny because uh, you know God will not be answering everyone individual for every anyway whatever Muslim says the funny in here is not that the funny is the explanation of the surah according to Muhammad let us go and see what Muslims explain and how they explain this surah, not me. You know, we don't explain the Quran up to our mind, we go by Muslims. Let us see what Muslims, this is At-Tabari, and let us see what he is saying, you know, about this verse. Okay, here we go. So this is At-Tabari, and now we will see the Prophet himself, Muhammad himself, you know, as you see. This is At-Tabari, and this is the website of uh, Islam Al-Quran. This is not my website. This is not a Christian website. This is a very authentic Islamic website. The government of Saudi Arabia, Ministry of Islam. So, let us see what At-Tabari is saying about that according to his prophet, not him. This one in here, the, the explanation is coming from Muhammad himself, not from uh, uh, the Imam. The prophet, he said, and Abi Huraira, <coughs> he said, do you know what this verse came for? The one it says you will have a very tough time in the judgment day and you will be blind. Do you know what it's mean donk, which means very tough, very hard? He said, This is the pain for the kafir in his grave. Oh, so we will have a pain in our grave. What is the pain in our grave? He said, He swear in Allah, Walladi nafsi biyadihi. I swear to Allah that the one is holding my soul with his hand that Allah he will send to you in your grave 99 dragon 99 dragon and those dragons and do you know what the dragons the dragons is each one of those dragons have seven heads of seven snakes so 99 dragons each dragon have not you know have seven heads of snakes all of them they will go inside the grave and they will be biting you and they will go inside your butt and by the way this is why Muslims when they go inside the grave when they die they put a cork in their butt in case you didn't know every Muslim it's a must when you die after they wash your body they put a cork in your in, in your butt so by this Satan cannot go inside your butt and the dragons like those will not go inside your butt because you are a believer you know but you know putting some cotton will not stop a dragon from going there right I think dragon is very powerful even a snake can take it out easy you know I advise Muslims to put some some concrete anyway so according to Muhammad those 99 dragons they will be biting you and they will be eating your body all over um, you know and this is a pain in the grave now when I ask I want to ask people you know in the grave are we dead or we are alive how I'm going to feel pain and what a big deal if 99 dragon not only biting me if they are cutting me pieces what is guys talking about and 99 dragons will go inside my how small they are like how big I am, how, how small is the dragon? Like is a dragon or is a cockroaches or what? The grave is a grave. Like what? Six foot? How big is the 99 dragons? It sounds like they are very, very short dragons. So as you see Muslims, you know, you know, let us say all Muslims are smart. And you know what? We are stupid. But do you think really 99 dragons will go inside the grave? And they will be eating you? I'm biting you do you think that true like are they micro dragons what and you know the funny that's the pain of the grave is that like temporary or the verse is talking about the judgment day because by the time of judgment day I don't know what the dragon will be eating because you know before that we raise from death we will be dust after we, when we raise from death, when we got, God decide to raise us from death, then we will have a flesh again. But before that, dragons will be eating what? Our dust? Biting what? I, I, I don't know. 
And why 99 dragons? I, I thought Allah, he have 99 names. Maybe Allah is dragon too. Isn't it, is it an accident? Like 99 dragons, 99 names of Allah. Nine, what, what is the idea of 99? And why each dragon have seven heads? What, what is that? I think uh, Muhammad is copying a story from different books. You know what I mean, right? Anyway, if you have a brain, use it or you will lose it. Thank you all. Jesus is Lord. Muhammad is a liar. I mean.